I just uh, I just finished uh, a workout on vacation. I did a thousand double unders and two hundred burpees, uh, and that's right after finishing this Russian squat program for the last thirteen weeks, where Marianne and I did just this grueling amount of front squats. It was like one hundred ninety thousand pounds of workouts or something. So I thought I was going to be taking it easy coming on vacation. Uh, but I didn't. Anyways, it got me thinking, like, why in the world did I go on vacation and then just go do that? Like, um, you know, I did it because there are people at my gym who hold me accountable and encourage me and uh, make me work harder. Um, you know, like 800 double unders in, my calf locked up and I couldn't do it. And I, I text this guy at the gym, like, ah, I can't finish this thing. You know, I can't even can't even move my toe. And he's like, all right, well, I expect you to finish that sometime today and text me back. And, uh, you know, so I picked my jump rope back up and I did the rest of the double unders one legged and got it done, you know, but I would have never done that if it wasn't somebody talking to me and encouraging me and, um, you know, telling me to get back out there and do it again, pick yourself up. The secret to finding a great gym, it's not the equipment or the location or the supplements or the monthly rate. Um, it's not an arms race, you know, between gyms, like who can, who can have the shiniest equipment or, or the most space or the lowest monthly rate. It's not, it's none of those things. Like the secret to a great gym is people and, uh, no amount of equipment or, you know, um, rate, low rates or coupons is going to get me up at dawn in Arizona on vacation to kill myself with burpees. I mean, it's like no no low monthly rate is going to motivate me to do the Murph every month until I get better. Like, I don't care. <laughs> this, this word community is used all the time, and it's thrown out there for different things. But like in the context that I'm talking about, it's people that know you uh, well enough to call you out on your weaknesses, and, and they know you well enough to encourage you when you're struggling, even though you're not admitting that you're struggling. Um... And if there's an arms race, like in gyms, it's who can build a gym with the best community, like with the best people, where you'll show up at the gym just to see your family, because even if you can't work out, you'll show up. Um, and that's why my gym is better than any other gym in town, because I've found my people here. And um, I was talking to a guy <laughs> at church that goes to church with me, and he was telling me, like, he doesn't really like living in Bakersfield. Um, but he would never leave because his church is here and that's his family. They're his people. And, um, you know, he'd never leave Hinchpoint, which means he won't leave Bakersfield. And, you know, it's, it's true in all these different areas of life. Like you're trying to find community. You're trying to find your people. So supplements, uh, shiny weights, more space, low monthly rates, coupons, like uh, that's all great. Uh, but if you feel like your fitness needs more attention than you're giving it right now, um, you need to start by finding your people. Uh, you need to, you can add the rest later. Um, and if you aren't sure where to find your people, then come give my gym a try because, well, it's the best gym in town. <laughs>